we are starting with indefinite integration that is nt derivative or we call this as a primitive definition you write down a function phi x is called nt derivative a function phi x we are starting with indefinite integral nt derivative primitive we call this now the definition we are writing a function phi x is said to be anti derivative or an integral of a function or an integral of a function if phi dash x comes out to be f x I just uh, revise it. Please uh, check what uh, we have done. A function f x is called primitive or anti derivative or integral of a function. What that function you write down f x. That function f x. If phi dash x is f x, phi dash x is f x. Now, what is the meaning of this? Just check here. If we have derivative, simple example x power n I take. The derivative come out to be n x n minus one, right? This is phi dash x. This is d by dx of x power n that is coming n x n minus one. Then its derivative is this. This is called derivative. Derivative of x power n is n x n minus one. Then this is called anti derivative of this. Derivative of x power n is n x n minus one. Then its anti derivative will be this. And how you write this? You will write this as integration of this result. That is n x n minus one dx will be x power. N. This is called anti derivative. So derivative of this function is this. Then its anti derivative will be this. That you should remember. Derivative of the function x power n will be n x n minus one. Then the anti derivative of n x n minus one, or we call integration of n x n minus one, is x power n. So this is called anti derivative. But one more thing you should keep in mind: if I say x power n plus c, the derivative remains same n x n minus one. Nothing wrong in it. Its derivative is this also x power n derivative is also this x power n plus one derivative is also this x power n plus two derivative is this. So I should say x power n plus c derivative always come out to be n x n minus one. So it is the general representation. Then I should say integration of this will be this. So we will say integration of n x n minus one dx will be what x power n plus c. So that's why whenever you take integration, indefinite integration, we will be putting c here because whatever function you are taking with that constant, if you put that, will be giving a general function to you, and it c never create a problem because the derivative of c is coming here. So this is derivative of x power n as x power n plus c is what n x n minus one. Then its anti derivative will be this. Or its integration will be called as x power n plus one. That you should remember. This is the simple definition we have. So what I'm finding here, phi dash x. The derivative of phi x is phi dash x is coming f x. So what I should say now in this case, phi dash x is what integration of f x. Integration of f x is phi dash x, and phi dash x means derivative of phi x is this. Derivative of phi x is f x, and anti derivative of f x will be phi dash x. Is that clear? And one more thing you can do here. It is also you can write plus c equal phi dash x plus c is f x. That means the derivative of this portion is this, and its anti integration is this. That you should keep in mind. Now, using this result, I will be generating my results or the formula which we are going to use in integration. Some standard results already we have done, so I'll use those standard result in derivative. We'll convert that into integration, and those will be the standard result for integration. So I'll just take that first result note. 
d by dx of x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Can you tell what is the derivative of this counts? x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c if it is given then what is the derivative of it? If you take the derivative of this it will come out to be yes n plus 1 x power n n plus 1 get cancel out your result is coming simply x power n. So derivative of x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c is coming x power n. That means what is my first result says? First result says integration of x power n will be x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. This is the formula number 1 we have. This is the derivative. By that we have created integration. Derivative of this is this. So integration of this will be this. So integration of x power n dx will be what? x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. That is the integration we have. We have b should not have n should not be minus 1. That also you should remember. This formula is only valid when n should not be minus 1. That you should keep in mind. Because if you put n minus 1, it will be becoming infinity. So first result is integration of x power n dx is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. That means if someone says what is the integration of x power 5, then what my integration will be? x power 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 plus c, which is nothing but x power 6 by 6 plus So this you should remember now. First result is x power n integration is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. But this formula is not valid for n is minus 1. Means 1 by x will not be having this way uh, integration. Second result. If we have d by dx of log x. You have done the derivative of it, what it will be? 1 by x. That means now I should say integration of 1 by x will be what? Log of x plus c. So that was the problem that n should not be minus 1, x power minus 1. Now we got another integration. So whenever x power n, uh, n power minus 1 is there or 1 by x is there, the integration formula will be log x plus c. This is the formula number 1. This is the formula number 2. Make the list of it please. First is integration of x power n will be x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c where n should not be minus 1. Another is 1 by x dx when log x plus c is there. Next result, please. If you take derivative of e power x plus c, the derivative comes out to be e power x. Derivative of e power x plus c is e power x. Then if you take the integration, what it will come? Integration of e power x dx will be e power x plus c. This is the formula number 3. Derivative of e power x plus c is coming e power x means its derivative is this. So its integration will be this. So I should say integration of e power x dx will be e power x plus c. We should. Formula number 3. Formula number 4 please. First d by dx a power x by log of a plus c. If you do this, what the derivative comes? a power x ka aega, a power x log a by log a is already there so it will left only a power x. That means what is the integration of a power x now? That will be coming as a power x by log of a plus c. This is the formula we have for a power x. Integration of so, so can you please give example of this? Uh, 
I'll take, I'll take. Wait. For example, now if I say integration of 2 power x, we have to calculate. This is not x power n, this is a power x. When we have 2 power x dx, what is the integration comes out to be? 2 power x by log 2. So I write down this as 2 power x by log of 2. Plus. So integration of 2 power x will be 2 power x by log 2. So integration of a power x will be a power x by log a plus c. This is the formula number 4. Then coming on next. Next formula, please. Derivative of sin x, if I take, it comes cos x. That means integration of cos x will be what? That come out to be sin x plus c. Same way when I say d by dx of minus cos x plus c. Minus I have taken that side. So minus cos x ka derivative kya hoga? That will come out to be sin x. So I got it integration of sin x dx will be what? Minus of cos x plus c. If you remember, derivative of cos x was minus sin x. But here derivative integration is cos x will be sin x. Sin x derivative was plus cos x, but here integration of sin x will be minus cos x. That you should keep in mind. So here cos x integration will be plus sin x, but sin x integration will be minus cos x. Then we have d by dx of 10x plus c. What is the derivative of 10x? It will come sec square x. So that means integration of sec square x dx will be what? 10x plus. Same way if I take d by dx of cortex minus plus c, then it will come out to be what? Cos sec square x minus I have taken that side. So, integration of cos x square x dx will be minus cortex plus c. So, we got uh, sine, we got cos, we got 10, we got cot. Next one is sec x. When you have derivative of sec x, it will come out to be sec x 10x. So integration of sec x 10x dx come out to be what? Sec of x plus c. Same way when you move for d by dx of minus cosec x, it come out to be cosec x cot x. So I got it integration of cosec x cot x dx. What I should write here, it will be minus of cosec x plus c. So these are the integration you should remember now. First, I'll work on these questions, then we will go on for the results. Write questions, please. First one is integrate x power 4 dx. Please do it. Integrate x power 4 dx. Please tell the answer. Yes. Answer please.
integrate x power 4 dx can you tell the answer which formula x power so, five. x power 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 plus c yes it will be x power 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 plus c that will be x power 5 by 5 plus c next question please integration root x dx please do it integration of root x dx And upon half plus one plus c x power half plus one by half plus one plus c that means it will come out to be what x power three by two by three by two plus of c or i should say answer is two by three x power three by two plus c. next question please dx by root of x. Integrate please. Integrate dx by root x dx. Yes. Sir, x ki power Sir, half of log c. Ah. Minus 2 by log. Minus, minus here. Sir, log. No log. It is x power minus half we we'll write first. Now it is x power n formula. So it will be x power minus half plus 1 by minus half plus 1 plus c. Then what it will come? x power half by half plus c or I should write this as 2 root x plus c. Clear? Next question please. Integrate dx by x cube. Integrate dx by x cube. Yes, please. Sir, x minus 1 by 3. x power. Huh? x power minus 3. So 1 by. Yes. What I write here? x power minus 3 plus 1 by minus 3 plus 1 plus c which is giving x power minus 2 by minus 2 plus c. x square goes down. So I got it here 1 by minus of 2x square plus c. 